Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to do a little video on how to breed mealworms because somebody had been asking me recently and it's been a while since I did a video about it so I thought I'd, you know, share what I do with them because I've actually changed what I do since I made my last video. So I built this little shelving unit out of some shelves that I had and they're just screwed together with screws and then I have these boards back here to uh, keep a heat pad that just kind of sits in the back nicely and heats all the mealworms from the back side. So we'll start with my beetles and the beetles I just have up here in the top Oh, and as you can see there cruising around. And in here I have my um, pupa. So these are what you get when you leave your mealworms to uh, to pupate. So you don't feed those mealworms off and they turn into the larva. And then after a little while they turn into the beetles. And the best way to get your pupa is to um, to choose your biggest mealworms because your biggest mealworms are your healthiest ones and you would think you know you oh your biggest mealworms you want to feed those to your gecko that's I, if you have enough meal or if you have enough breeding beetles already then that's a good bet but if not um, you you definitely need big strong breeders but then after after they've all gone through that cycle, you know, you, I usually pick out mealworm, uh, or the larva out of here, as you can see. There's one right there. And I'm just going to turn off the camera and open up this bottom bin to show you how I get all my mealworms out without having to sift through my beetles. Alright, so now I've got my beetle bin taken off of my mealworm bin and this screen down here allows all the eggs and the tiny little mealworms to fall through into the uh, oats. And all I use for substrate is like rolled oats and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's really good, really easy. And if you look in here, there's tiny little mealworms all over the place. And in a few, I'm, I'm going to leave this bin under the beetles for probably a month or two while I'm feeding out worms from these two bins. And uh, once I start to run out of some worms in one of these bins, I'll end up taking this one out and feeding these ones more heavily. And, you know, if, you, if any of you guys like eating fruit, uh apples specifically. Uh, I've heard of a lot of people using potatoes and there, uh, there is a potato in here right now and as you can see the mealworms have been digging into them but they love apples. I've noticed the mealworms grow really fast when you feed them apples all the time so any of you guys that have apples around eat apples I eat an apple every day and I give the core to my mealworms and they grow like crazy. I also every so often take some high quality dog food and uh, grind that up and put it in here because it just kind of gives them a little extra fat content and protein to go with the uh, fruit that I've been giving them. And that's pretty much it. So I will go over that again. I keep all my beetles in a bin with a screen on the bottom. They're, they live in the oats and I give them carrots, apples, and potatoes less commonly but they're in there because my dog got into a bag of potato, potatoes and it was rolling around on the floor so I decided to toss it in. But uh, yeah, I generally feed carrots and apples. Every so often I put some zucchini or something in here and then some high quality dog food and cat food and just sprinkle that on the top 
and the mealworms fall through the bottom, every so often you switch that out. I switch it out probably every couple months. And then you make sure you got your heat pad going. And once you have warmth and food for your mealworms, you should get beetles. And then once you have beetles, in no time you should have lots of mealworms. I'd say you need probably two, maybe three hundred beetles to have a good amount of um, food to feed, say, five to ten geckos. That's, I mean, I have seven and I'm feeding my geckos with uh, probably a couple hundred beetles at a time. I'm going to try and expand my breeding operation for beet or the mealworms because I'd really like to uh, have far more than I need. But uh, that's it. So hope you guys learned something. And have a good one, guys.